What's happening guys? I figured I'd give you a little tour of the DOS trailer, camper, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> converted cargo trailer. So here we go. We're in the sleeping quarters here. We got a bunk cot set up, which is pretty slick. Just me right now, so nobody on the bottom. Extra cot, which will fit here if we wanted to do three people. It'd be tight, but we'd make it work. Um, we come into the kitchen here, and so this is a 16-foot trailer. We're into the kitchen. By the way, I didn't make it. We bought it already upfit, and then we made some changes to it. But we got some taters going. We got venison about to go on. That's a Renai heater. So currently, the Renai is being powered by my truck, but then I have a Generac. Uh, power bank that when we <clears throat> at night I plug that in um, underneath here so basically we just have two different wiring harness setups uh, so currently it's being powered to the truck or from the truck here and then when I bring that power bank in I plug that in and that's that's a that's a thousand watt and that'll get me through the night and then some um actually in the mornings they'll be like 50 percent uh left that'll run the the renai heater uh if you start doing a whole lot more than that you'd probably run through almost all of it they are slow to charge off the truck and that's what it's doing right now um but i'll go out i'll show you show you what i shot today so i'm out here hunting alone in a uh, new state for me and so yeah there's the power going to the setup propane just hooked up to a 20 pounder there's the trailer dual axle 16 footer and there's the box i mean doesn't get much better than that buck and truck life is good um yeah so there's a there's a look at the the camper setup it's working out pretty slick um definitely going to make a few little modifications um but like i said that thousand watt generac powers a thing uh you just end up having to charge that each day so uh if, if you've got a bit of a drive i i charge it right out of the cigarette lighter if you've got a bit of a drive in the morning, um, like I've been just setting it on the passenger floor, plug it in, charge it up. And normally by the time I get home, it's or back to camp here, it's about 80%. And then I can use that for, for the evening. Honestly, I don't have to be hooked up to the truck now. I could just be powered off of that power bank. But anyway, it works out pretty well. It sure does. Uh, pretty comfy and allows you to be allows you to be mobile and shoot bucks in other states. <laughs>